So what I'd like to do is have another person with a, uh, that found a limitation come up front, and then we're going to get other examples. You want to go? Come on up. Yes. All right. Have a seat. Your name, please. Um, Leonor from Montreal. Leonor from Montreal. Yeah. Okay. That's your real name, Leonor from Montreal? No. <laughs> um, Leonor Zipan. Okay, from perfect. Montreal. How do you feel right now? A bit nervous. Yes? Because okay. I'm making jokes or just nervous? No, because I'm in front of everybody. You're in front of everybody? Yeah. But you were in front of everybody when you were sitting there? But I'm not facing them. Oh, okay. So you're only in f afraid or nervous when you're seeing people when you're in front right. and you're facing them. Okay, did you see the generalization? She says, well, I'm afraid of, what were you afraid of? Unknown. Okay, unknown? Yeah. But she's afraid of what? She's afraid of people looking at her or being in front. So what did I do? I said, well, you're already in front. So I'm gaining rapport again. I'm not saying no. I'm taking what she's saying and using it. She said, I don't feel nervous when I'm there, but she was in front of everybody. Does everybody agree? Mm -hmm. I found out what was missing from the conversation is that when she's turned that way, then she's nervous. So I'm going to make you very comfortable. You okay? Sure. All right, stand up, please. Okay, look that way. <laughs> How do you feel now? You're not nervous anymore? But I don't want to show it in my back. It's rude. You were showing your back. You were showing. They were looking at your back from down there. Okay. Sit down. Turn the chair. Look that way. Is that going to be okay with you? No. Not. Okay. So it's not about just facing them. What is it about? I don't know. It's just nerve-wracking coming in front of them. Yes. Yeah. When is it nerve-wracking? Well, it's getting better because I'm looking at them now. Okay. So if you're looking at them, it's better. Is that correct? At some point, yes. Okay, so what if you were look at, to look at him for the next 30 seconds? Would it get better? Yes. How do you know that it's getting better? I feel less tense again. You feel less tense? And where's the tense? Where's it tense? Your shoulders? All over. <laughs> where? Here? There? Yeah. There? Yeah. And so... I feel like I need a nappy bag. A what? A nappy bag, like to calm me down. An event? Where's my bag? I'll get you one. Okay. <laughs> Who has that event? Uh. <laughs> a shot? Yeah. You like shots better? Uh, well, it's faster. Oh, it's faster. Okay, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. As opposed to the pads. Okay, I wouldn't know, but that's okay. <laughs> right? Now, in terms of stress, do you feel a bit less stress? Yeah, no. Okay, and is it because you're looking at them, or what is it that's making you less stress? What is it about them looking at you that stresses you? <clears throat> Just those eyes. Those eyes? Okay. Everybody, please close your eyes. <laughs> I told you it'd make you feel comfortable. Okay. Is it better? He's not closing his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see him. Okay. Everybody close your eyes, please. What if I close the lights? Is that better? Oh, sure. Okay. Let's close the light. Is that better? Yes. How is it better now? Tell me. Can they open their eyes though? If the light is closed. That's okay, right? Okay, if you want to open your eyes, please. Okay, now how do you feel? Is it a bit better? It's getting there. It's getting there? Yeah. Now, if the light is closed down and in your mind you can start making things less bright when you're looking at them and it gets a little bit dimmer, how does that feel? Better. better? And as it gets a little bit dimmer and you're allow allowing yourself to feel less tense because they're only there and they're relaxed also, so you can also try to be relaxed, right? And if you begin to breathe differently and allow yourself to believe that they like you and that they're here to help you succeed because they're actually really happy they're up front because you've chosen to be a pioneer and showing them a new technique that they're going to be helpful with. And since you help people on a daily basis, you probably know how it feels to have somebody that you're helping feel that they've been helped right now. Isn't that correct? Correct. And how do you feel now? Okay. okay. What did I use? Recollection of what? Emotion. Okay, she told me she wants Ativan, she wants a syringe, so that tells me she knows what? She's working medicine, okay? 
So if she knows medicine, what does she do on a daily basis? Help she helps other people. So I'm using that. So she's a she's, junkie. She's a <laughs> <laughs> We're on camera, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for Leonora from Montreal. Okay, all right. Now, do you feel a bit better? Now, it, can you imagine that those people are actually happy that you're here? Are you happy that she's in front teaching you something? Exactly, right? Okay. Now, in terms of the light being dim, if you allow the lights to be dim a little bit more in your mind, and you allow to feel the people that are looking at you all the time and in other times that are coming or just coming towards you, would you say that it's okay for them to just be who they are and you're going to teach them something that they're going to be allowed to learn sure. to feel better? And what, how do you feel when you make somebody feel better at uh, work? Great. Yes? And where, how do you know you feel great? Because I've done something, I made them feel better, I made a difference in their life. I made a difference in their life, okay? So she said, I made them feel great. Great doesn't mean anything. So again, it's a generalization or something else. She's not telling me what's the real feeling. So the real feeling is she makes somebody different in her life. Uh, no, sorry. You make them feel something different in their life. Is that I it? made a difference in their you life. You made a difference in their life. I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice. That's why. So would you like me to give you an example, for instance? Yes, go ahead, please. For instance, um, let's say a patient just got diagnosed with cancer and it's terminal. You have three months to leave. Just by being there and listening to what you have to say, it makes a difference. Wow. So imagine all those people right now that are just sitting there listening to you, how, what kind of difference you're having right now. Isn't that correct? Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Is it better? How does it feel to be able to talk in front of people now? It's better. Yes? yes. What would make it even better? The, the fear that I had is when I have to present in front of everybody. Like presentation, for instance. Okay, so just talk to them about what's on that screen. Can you read that out loud for me, please? Like practice session? Correct. Oh, so how do you feel now that you've presented somebody something to them? Feel great. Good? How do you feel great? Just, just, just came off the big heavy in my shoulder. See, it says practice session. It's training day. Good. How do you feel? Good. Good? What's good mean? I want you to tell me how good you feel. Well, the fact that I have the courage to come here. Good, so it's about courage. So how, how do you feel about courage? What does courage mean to you? That I, I initiate to come here that I want to be able to unblock whatever, like my fear. Okay, and since you like to help a lot of people, mm -hmm. do you think that as an example you just gave, you became an example of a courageous person and you and I enabled them to be courageous for the future? I think so. What do you think? I think I yes? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Do you feel better at being able to present? Yeah, it's okay. better. I have Is there anything you'd present that you wouldn't feel comfortable with? Is there anything that I, I would not present if I'm not comfortable? What about presenting statistics on less killing in Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> I would not present that. No? No. Why not? Because I don't like to present things that killing. Okay, so what do you like to present? Well, I present mostly the cases that we have at work. No, what kind of cases? For instance, uh, let's say... Where is she looking all the time? I have to uh, retrieve. Visual. No, visual, yeah, go ahead. Uh, for instance, uh, a new medication for blood pressure that patient has kidney failure. Kidney failure, so what would be, let's call it uh, okay. ABC, a, a, ABC drug. Yes. Yes? I just want to give a background of what uh, kidney failure, when the kidney doesn't work anymore. That's what we mean by kidney failure. And how many people have kidney failures per year? A lot. What's, um, what would be a statistic? Talking more in the Montreal area. Sure, in Montreal or Canada. Or in Canada, well, I only know mostly Montreal. Uh, Montreal, Montreal, okay, go ahead. Um, I don't know, um, 500 cases. 500 cases per year? Oh no, every six months, sorry. Every six months, yeah. wow, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay, and those people, do they get dialysis or anything? Or can um, you explain to them what dialysis is? Okay, so what it does is that um, when the kidney doesn't work anymore, that, the function of the kidney, I'm going to be more uh, specific, specific okay. is that um, it will clean up your blood, the toxins in your body, 
So that was what's the kidney? That's the function of the kidney, and then it will remove like the fluid, extra fluid, like your pee pee, your your urine. So um, when that doesn't work anymore, um, we take over the dialysis. So it's like your kidney. Okay. So since you just presented something to them, how does that feel that you're able to do that now? Or that you were able to do it, even thought you didn't know you were able to do it, but you just did it. I would like to know if they understand what I just said. Yeah. Yes. 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 They understand PP, pee -pee, they do it a couple of times a day. <laughs> the PP goes here, the PP comes from here, the PP is going to go from there to there. Yes. yes? Okay. Now, is it because you thought they didn't understand that it was making you nervous? Um, uh, yeah. Doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't matter, no, That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. How does it feel? Yeah. Yes. You feel more confident to give your presentations next time. For sure. Okay. Good. Go right ahead. Thank Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Okay. See, I used laughter as an anchor. I didn't touch her. She's a female, and I didn't. For this exercise, I didn't feel. I just wanted to give some other uh, examples. All right.